Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and some great news out of SIGGRAPH, specifically that Sketchfab, the online repository for all things 3D, is now tightly integrated with Blender via a new add-on. So basically you can now uh, log in to your account on Sketchfab and download GLTF models directly into the Blender application, and we're going to take a look at that process right now. So. First off, here is the announcement over on sketchfab.com. Of course, I will toss this link uh, down below. But basically, they are announcing that you can now search hundreds of thousands of Creative Commons licensed models from our community and download them directly into your Blender scene. Uh, it's actually pretty straightforward. We are going to see it in action. You've also got a full 3D preview before you download it. Uh, it integrates tightly into Blender, as we will see in a second. Um, pretty cool to see this coming. Now, basically, to get started with it, go to this link right here. Download it here will bring you to the github page this is an open source project so the source code is available for the plugin but specifically what you want to do is grab that guy right there io underscore sketch underscore plugin and then the version dot zip once you've got that fire up your copy of blender now important note as of right now this only works on blender 2.79 2.8 support is in the works but it is not available yet so you have to be using the current production version not the beta version uh, in order for this to work. And then what you do basically is head on over, just like installing any other add-in, go to user preferences, go into your add-ons, click install add-on from file, go to the zip file that you just installed, and then you will see import export sketchfab plugin enabled. Once you have that available, click the check mark next to it right there. And then if you want to keep this setting after Blender closes, you're going to want to hit save user settings. And once you've done all that, you are good to go. So we can close that out and you now have access to um, Sketchfab directly from Blender. Now, in order to access it, you will now notice in the tools menu of the 3D view. So here we are in a 3D view. Hit the T, pen, the T key to bring up the tools um, menu down here on the side. You'll notice there is a new tab at the bottom for Sketchfab. And uh, have at it. Now, the top one is allows you to log in. I've already logged in, but basically get them the username and password for your um, login account. I've got a free account that I'm using here. Just register with Sketchfab. Otherwise, you can search, but you're not going to be able to download anything. So do be aware that if you want to actually download, you're going to need a Sketchfab account. And then after that, it is an exercise in easiness. Basically, come on up here, pick the thing you are searching for. For example, I need a goat. I'll search for a goat. Uh, give it some time. You'll see here it says no results. Then it says, oh, hey, results. And this is a little unintuitive. I think they should change this interface out a little bit. Basically, you're seeing the first result previewed right there. But if you click it, then you get an interface with all of the available options available right here. So let's say, for example, I'm happy with this particular goat. We'll grab it right there. I can, if I want to, I can view it on the website, and this will obviously open it up to the web page where that model is, where I can interact with it and play with it in three dimensions like so. But I decide, yeah, that's a good looking low polygon goat. I'm going to go ahead with it basically head on back over to Blender World and you want it, you basically come down here and say import model and importing. So there you see, I have a goat like so. Now you'll notice it is a very large goat, uh, but it is still a goat. So you're going to probably want to grab that guy and scale it down, but still. We got a goat directly in Blender in almost no time at all. So pretty cool stuff. Now do be aware there are some issues with it. They are addressed here, I believe. Yeah, so there's a bunch of known issues and most of this is basically going to boil down to GLTF is the native format that Sketchfab is making these models available in. And as of right now, GLTF support in Blender is a little hit or miss. It's going to definitely improve over time. This is the file format that 3D, especially open source 3D, are rallying around. So you're going to see much better support as time goes on. But it is definitely a work in progress. So if you see some uh, issues or blemishes or weirdnesses with your imported model, uh, do be sure to check here. There are some things to go around working, you know, doing workarounds. But a lot of it basically boils down to if something doesn't look right, it's probably the GLTF importer that this depends on just not doing the greatest job ever. Uh, but there are some other workarounds to um, try and get your model working correctly if a problem occurs. Uh, but yeah, that's the um, new Sketchfab integration directly inside of Blender, making Sketchfab 
pretty much more and more of a go-to for 3D models. Now, speaking of which, I actually already did a video on this topic. And uh, here's the text-based version that goes with it. I'll toss this link down below, but you'll find this is basically a list, including, of course, Sketchfab, of the various different resources that are out there that offer 3D models, specifically with free offerings available. So if you are looking for 3D models and you don't find it on Sketchfab, uh, do be sure to check this list out or this video, and hopefully I can set you up with something. And the cool thing is, once again, all for free. So Sketchfab is getting more and more cool with every release. Uh, there's already a Godot plugin, there's a Unity plugin, uh, there's an Unreal Engine plugin, I believe. I, I don't use 3D Studios Max, but I'm guessing there is probably a 3D Studios Max plugin. And it's definitely cool to see Blender getting the treatment as well. Also nice to see that it's done in an open source manner. And I, I hope that in time we do see better and better GLTF support. We can finally get rid of the crap that is Collada or FBX. We can move away from all of that stuff and move towards an open but useful for game development file format that is GLTF2. So any kind of glitch you run into, do check that it is GLTF2, but I do assume in time that is definitely going to improve. So anyways, what do you think? Are you a Blender user? Are you going to be installing this add-on? Um, do you already use Sketchfab or do you use perhaps one of the other 3D model sites I put on this list? Or of course, I suppose you could work entirely in 2D and this is all pretty moot to you, but hopefully it wasn't. Hopefully this was useful and uh, yeah, let me know in the comments down below. All right, talk to you all later. Goodbye.